Hey folks, it's Charlie here again. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of a deep dive into inverters and power sources. A buddy of mine, Tony, lives on the fourth floor in an apartment building, so he can't have a generator. And he was wondering about buying a Patriot power source and whether it was a good deal. So let's just look at things real quick. This is the generator. Runs on gasoline and produces about a thousand watts of power. Um, great little machine. Downsides, you have to be able to start it. You have to be able to exhaust it. You can't run it inside a building. And if you're depending on your PCA to get it started, they have to know how to do it. And you have to maintain it. Keep the gas fresh, keep it from evaporating. If you never use it, it's gonna dry out and give you problems with the carburetor. Great upsides if you're just using it like I do for a hybrid wheelchair. Charges the batteries while I'm driving. Not so good if you live on the fourth floor of a department building. I did look into the Patriot power source or inverter and I wrote down or I actually just printed out their thing. Uh, it's the biggest generator we make. One, it is not a generator, Tony, it's a power capacity. It's a battery, per se, with an inverter. The best battery technology on the market, compared with prior models, you get 25% more power. Four expansion capacity, 2X recharging. All right, it's gonna recharge twice as fast. Dual force recharging technology, you know. Not 2,500 life cycles, but 3,500 life cycles. Equal to 10 years daily use. Free, nothing is free, okay? You gotta pay for these things some way or another. 100 watt solar panel, free mini solar generator. I don't know what the hell a mini solar generator is. I wish I had one. Uh, the only solar generator I know of is the sun. So I'd like to have a mini sun to turn it on on rainy days so I could have nice solar power. Uh, free 40 watt solar panel. Well, if they're giving you a free 100 watt one, what the heck. But anyways, this tells you nothing about how much power it can hold, how much power it can supply. Uh, my neighbor does a lot of camping and they have this jackery. Now, right up front, it tells you it can do a thousand watts of power at 110 volts. So basically, amps times volts equals power. So a hundred, a thousand watts of power is equal to about 10 amps times 110 volts, a little bit less, nine something. Okay, that's a pretty good jolt of electricity. This can you know, more than ample to pump up your bed or anything else. If you just want to pump up your bed, you can go with one of their smaller units. I don't know what the power ratings are. This unit here for its size claims it has 2,040 watt hours. You can divide that up anyways, but that's the amount of power it has, 2,040 watts hours. Downsides? This is $1,100 for the basic model. You want the solar panels and all the other bells and whistles. Uh, you're looking at $1,500, not cheap. It is convenient. It has everything you could want. USB ports, USC ports, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Mighty convenient, it weighs 39 pounds, at least that tells you something. It does have some guts to it. If you wanna go a cheaper route, you can't afford 1,500 bucks or 1,200 bucks for one of these. You already have two batteries in your power wheelchair. What you can do is buy yourself a power inverter. This one's from China, you can see it has Pu Power or Pu Extra, whatever. I couldn't resist when I saw that it was, sounds like a crappy deal, but it works. And it says right on it, one thing you gotta be very careful for, pure sine wave, all right? 
You do not want an inverter that's a pure sine wave. This is a 2000 watt inverter, very large. Most likely you don't need anything near this. Half the size, this costs 200 bucks. Buy yourself a hundred dollar thousand watt inverter that's pure sine wave. Now, why do I say pure sine wave? Even the Jackery tells you it's pure sine wave. The Patriot doesn't tell you that it's pure sine wave. What's the difference? So if you look at this little whiteboard we have here, this is a pure sine wave up and down like an S. That's where it gets its name, sine. Uh, and this other one is a square wave generator, up and over, down and over, right? The area underneath here is the amount of power in each one. So with a pure sine wave, they use a little transistor called an IGBT, which just stands for Integrated Bipolar Transistor. Who knew your, uh, your inverter would have psychological problems? But that's what somebody invented, a bipolar transistor. And it's a very neat thing. It has, in each half cycle, 2,000 picture little rectangles underneath this, going from zero all the way up to 1,000, then from 1,000 all the way down, and they use these to make a, a sine wave. And then when it gets to zero, it does the negative portion, 1,000, then 1,000 back down to zero, all right? And it does that 60 times a second. The non-pure sine wave, they use a thing called an SCR, which just stands for Silicon Controlled Rectifier. It makes a square wave, which goes all the way up and over and down. You say, well, Charlie, there's more power underneath this one than there is in this one. Yes, but you can't use this power up here. Motors and things don't like to go on and off 60 times a second. They like a smooth operating curve. And this matches up much better with the motor. With motors and things, you have to knock these corners off. And they do that by wasting heat. So this one here will give you much more bang for your buck than chopping off this area underneath the square wave. So get a pure sine wave uh, inverter. Your average wheelchair gel cell, this is 50 ampere hours at 12 volts. I won't get into it too much, but if you want to look at a uh, uh, the formula, volts times amps equals watts. And that's, uh, you can do it any way you want. Watts divided by volts equals amps, etc., etc. So 50 amps times 12 volts, that's almost 600 watts and it can do that for over an hour, no problem. So what can you do? You can have this hanging on your wheelchair. I just put this little pigtail on it and I did the same with my inverter. So if I want to use this for power, you can just open the back of your wheelchair and connect this to this. You can't connect it wrong, it only goes one way and now you've got 120 volt power, blow up your bread, bed, keep your respirator going, your CPAP machine, whatever it is you want to do. That's what you're looking for. If you want to get a little more into it, you can buy a pure sine wave inverter and a lithium battery to keep on the side. And they come in all shapes and sizes. So I'm going to show you one that I have here. It's for running my extremely long range uh, wheelchair, high speed, long range. Hopefully someday I'll show you that. All right, so this is a rather large lithium battery. Uh, it says 25.6 volts. Let's just call that 24 volts at 100 ampere hours. This battery here is a 50 ampere hour, the gel cell. This one here at 12 volts would be 200 ampere hours. So this is four times 
as big as the gel cell. All right, the downside, it'll only give you 100 amps at a time. This can give you 300 amps at a time. I doubt that there's anything in your house that possibly could use anywhere near that much power. So 1,000 watts of power equal to the Jackery. Uh, the Jackery claims to have 2,040 watt hours. This would be equal to 2,400 watt hours, probably a little more at 25.6, but you get the picture. Can you put this much power into this little package plus have an inverter? I don't know. I'm not God, so I don't know these, you know, sometimes people get away with doing things somehow that you don't know about. So a bit skeptical if it would have this much power, but this was $500, this is $200, and you have to buy a uh, lithium battery charger. So another $25. You can certainly go smaller than this, but the cheapest way is just buy a power inverter. If you want to put some alligator clamps on this end instead of a wheelchair connection, uh, do so. You can run off any car battery, which you can always get dozens of them if you're in trouble, and uh, just go with your wheelchair. So those are some options you have. You want to save some money? I'd go with the wheelchair stuff. If you uh, want to keep it simple and have something very reliable that any PCA can just plug into immediately, then the Jackery, I would definitely go with the Jackery over the Patriot. All right. Hey, back again already. I just gave the Jackery back to my neighbor and she tells me it doesn't work after a year and a half of use. So she is not happy. She's reached out to Jackery and gotten no response or replies. And I guess this is a somewhat common problem. Uh, any battery, if you overuse it, run it completely dead, they can have problems. My advice is forget the Jackery, forget the Patriots, make your own. Uh, I went on Amazon and I put together a list of different things that you can get. My idea is if you want to make your own Jackery, you can do that for $430 and be better on every aspect. The recharger is 30 bucks, more or less. You can buy an inverter for about 119 so let's call that a buck 20 and you can buy a giant 200 ampere hour 12 volt battery for 279 okay so all in you're in it for 430 and you've got better capacity in every category than any jackery so i would just say forget that and make your own the other thing i thought of I talked about plugging into your wheelchair, Tony. I learned since then, these little clips are called Anderson connectors. You can buy one, two of them for $8, less than $8 on Amazon. If you want, you can put one of these on and have a 24 volt inverter and plug it directly into your wheelchair. Disconnect and plug into the exact one that goes to your power converter and you're gonna be golden. What I would do if I were in your situation, I would buy a smaller inverter than this one, buy something that'll do 1500 to 2000. I think most of the 24 volt ones are 2000 watts and they cost, I wrote it down here, $135. So for $135, I would just wire this directly to your battery, make sure you have an on off switch so it's not on all the time and carry it with you, mount it to the back of your wheelchair. Your wheelchair already weighs 300 pounds. Another five pounds is not gonna kill you. And then if power goes out, just drive your wheelchair over to your bed, plug it in, or do whatever you want. Plus, if you get too hot in the summer, plug a fan into the thing and run it while you're at the Red Sox game or something. You might as well live large while we're here. And it's a simple way to give yourself 110 power wherever you go. And uh, aside from all the bells and whistles, that's probably all there is to know about 
these things in the basic form. So until next time, if there's anything you want to know, just write it in the comments. We can cover all kinds of stuff. And hopefully we'll see you again. Till then, keep your mind full and your bowels empty.